town council meeting? Okay then. <laughs> You're on video saying that. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a quick meeting. Oh, <laughs> So, um, so we will, we will discuss that. I know he did say he wanted to be in at that. Yeah. So I. Uh, okay. So well, yeah, I mean the, No, no, it's fine. Don't tell me. That meeting was complete word salad. No, 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 but no that's what I'm saying. It was just a bunch of conflicting information that mm -hmm. made no sense. We're not building anything, but we're putting all the stuff. In. Like, and we're not doing it. This is yeah. the Metro's well, project. Well, well, and I think I think the yeah the crux of it is just like do the same thing whatever you're doing there here. And, and that's what I in the, yeah. and eventually in that meeting I said whatever you're doing for them just do, do for us. Yeah. Right. Well, we need the power. Well, we're not doing anything for anybody is what she said. It was crazy. Yeah. She was Interesting. rude, pushy, and obnoxious. Sounds like sorry. This was Metro. Mm -hmm. Chuck, you were on that call, weren't you? I think I was. Though they all live together. Yeah. <laughs> or are you trying to forget? I'm just saying that so our office has been talking about what it would take to get a quiet zone and act in. One of the issues that keep brought up is there's something like seven crossings, I think is the number I heard. But I think they're talking about even including some of the dirt, like dirt crossings that way down in Solomon Canyon. That but, but my understanding is they only deploy the horns for the marked crossings, of which there are three. So they only really deploy the horns. Well, that's, okay, that makes so that's sense. That's why we the three. I don't, there, yes, that so makes sense. Much, yeah. There's yeah. so much, there's so much and so, thought uh, being thrown on this project, and I'm so angry and perturbed about it. I'm sorry. And so, so, that, and so what we're told is that so they can't just declare it a quiet zone and say, don't sound your horns. They have to have, I don't know, I think like double. Yeah, um, it's double, it's, yeah, double yeah, protection. It's, yeah. it's some sort of pedestrian barrier, though. I don't think there's ever been no. a pedestrian action enacted. No, and no, the no, ones no. in Lancaster and Bondo are suicides, almost always suicides, right. that pedestrian. Yeah. Right, and so they have to do those things. That's yeah. part of the pride zone. And that, this is what we've been told until that meeting yeah. that as part of the ABL project, Metro is putting in those facilities. It's not going to be a quiet zone because you have to go through the feds through to the get process, a quiet zone. Yes, yes but we. Then, have to do work in Lancaster that put in the extra, essentially, parking area. They're going to go ahead and do it. And I don't know if they're doing it in every street in Lancaster, at M and J and K. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not sure either. Or but just the North Park. Well, and I think that's, that's the key thing. Is like, we're really asking for the three. I mean, so. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good enough. Three. So, Crown Valley. Aliso. Aliso. And I believe the other one is. Um, what? Like, no, that's not. That's not. It's, it's, it's at um, uh, Thousand Trails. Trails. Yeah. Because that's a that's a. There were only three. Oh, you mean like a Thousand Trails driveway in the Thousand Trails? I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's right there somewhere. Yeah, where was that? that so they can only sound their horns at two places because the. Th uh, well, I could be wrong about that. But that's my understanding. Actually, I should back up. Metro Link. We've asked five six, or six times to, for them to tell us what their noise pattern is, their sound deployment, their horn deployment, and they've never, yeah. they've ignored those emails. They wouldn't talk to us. Okay. And when we've asked uh, the freight company, what's it called, uh, uh, Union Pacific, Union Pacific yeah. they have told us to go ask Metro. So we've done, we've shaken okay. every train we can. Imagine that. Okay. But, but I mean, so we, I don't believe they even deploy the horns for the bootlegger or the Pulsar Rosa. But we don't know for sure because no one tells us. No one says, well, I mean, I'll, at some point, maybe over Christmas time, I'll go and listen to the trains go by and see where they're. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Well, well I hate to do that to you, but they probably put the word out to the community. It's, yeah, yeah when we get our answers, yeah. But, but honestly, uh, Metro, they, <laughs> they, they should know. Yeah, yeah. You so, well, and listen, listen. My, my my thought process on that is just that 
uh, nobody wants to say it because they're not doing what they're supposed to be talking about. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Is that nobody wants to say it because it's going to get out. It's either, it's either they're, yeah, they're either doing it too much or they're not doing it enough. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the solution. Tell them that we don't want to get them in trouble. Just, so just, just to fight ourselves. Yeah, and, and we won't ask any more questions. We won't ask questions. <laughs> we'll go yeah. away. Right? I mean, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like I said, I didn't mean to get off in the weeds, but I did. But think Supervisor was, Barbara has committed to circling back to us on it. Okay. So I, 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 I'm holding on to that with, with two fists. <laughs> so, um, the Animal Valley Environmental Collection Center for Has Waste and E Waste is open on the first and third Saturday of each month from 9 to 3. It's located at 1200 West City Ranch Road in Palmdale. Metro will resume fare collection on buses and I guess other media or uh, modes. Beginning January 10, 2022. Caltrans has announced the next ATP or active transport program opportunity. That is what Caltrans uh, California uses to disperse federal state routes to school funds. ATP applications are due in March 2022. Interestingly, Metro, the same Metro we've been dealing with, will provide grants to project sponsors to prepare and submit the ATP applications. Metro will host an information session to explain grant assistance priorities and expectations on December 16, 2021. I don't know, uh, maybe we should put this on the agenda for the next meeting, we want to take another run at it. Um, December 16 is before our next town council meeting. So, uh, maybe, okay, we can yeah. talk about later. Yeah. Uh, under uh, committee report. Um, waste management residential customers. Uh, this is a notice to them. Waste management will collect Christmas trees and Hanukkah bushes set out for disposal between December 27 and January 14. For all others, waste management is hosting two drop-off locations open during normal business hours from December 27 to January 29. The two locations are the Palmdale Disposal Facility, 1200 West City Ranch Road, and the Lancaster Disposal Facility at 600 East Avenue F. The notice is posted on our website, or will be soon. I don't know if you guys got that. Matches collection events are at two lo locations coming up on December 11th from 9 a.m. to 2. One is at the Lakes Community Center uh, on Elizabeth Lake Road at 17520 Elizabeth Lake Road, excuse me, in Lake Hughes. The second is the Los Angeles County Public Works Road Yard at 381260 Highway. <clears throat> on January 24th from 6 to 8 p.m., the LA County Sheriff's Department and the Community Advisory Committee will be hosting a community meeting here at the community club. Uh, Captain Schaefer will be here to hear about community concerns addressing dumping, illegal grows, fire hazards, homeless, off-road issues. Sorry. What what day is that? January 24th. So oh, I'm okay. Gonna... All right, that's why I'm going okay. 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 It just, we kind of got, I don't know when they scheduled it, but we've kind of learned about it today. Okay. And we've posted it on the website. Uh, I think we will. No, we will. Okay. Um, so, they're here to talk about the dumping, illegal grows, fire hazards, homeless, off-road issues, stolen vehicles, mail theft, break-ins, properties being sold but sitting unoccupied, I didn't know it was a crime, um, and other concerns you may have. Please come and let the Sheriff's Department hear from you, the notice is posted, or will be. A couple more things from Deputy Martinez, who was unable to make it tonight, babysitter difficulties, I think. <laughs> yes. One, the LASD continues to hit several marijuana grows each week, so please keep the tips coming to marijuana tips at LASD.org. Uh, There's been an uptick of calls for service for parties and motorcycle riders. I assume that means uh, illegal off-road. Yeah. Excuse me. Right. Please remember, although the station, this is what uh, Paste his email here. Please remember that although the station, when you call, will tell you it's several hours to respond, you should still put in a call for service. Uh, the Sheriff's Department is prompted to say that because of the Department of Justice's review of the LASD, the, the Department of Justice review that the LASD is under. <coughs> uh, most of the time, our response is, is much faster than the time given. Three, Deputy Martinez is not on social media at this moment and is no longer on any of the active community groups on Facebook. Therefore, if you are using those platforms to report problems, please know that the messages are not getting through to the LASD. You need to directly contact Deputy Martinez or the station to have their concerns addressed. Uh, they have broken ground on the I-5 Freeway Improvement Project in Santa Clarita. 
It's designed to improve the movement of freight and people and accommodate expected population growth in the Santa Clarita Valley. According to Radio News report, construction will take several years. It's all in Santa Clarita on the 5, but it might cause backups on the 14 as well. I'm not sure. Finally, uh, we received word from the California Public Utilities Commission that our complaint has been formally filed and it was served on Southern California Edison on December 2nd. <clears throat> so Edison's going to fight us on every, every inch of this, um, every inch of the way. They're going to bring every battleship and aircraft carrier and destroyer and sink our little robot. Okay. <laughs> on the bear trap thing or just in general? The bear, the helicopter. Oh, the bear trap thing. Okay. I think anything, but particularly this time. <laughs> okay. Well, no, no, this is just a helicopter. No, 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 I know. Anything would be I'm sure they're going to bring. Oh, you know, this is. Oh, this, is this is. Yeah. It's going to be like. It's going to be like if you know your naval history, Taffy 3 and the Battle of Samar passing down. <laughs> Japanese Center <laughs> for us. <laughs> and we're Taffy 3. <laughs> but. <laughs> Do we have video of the helicopter taking off and all that from the from near the houses? Oh, we don't even get it. Edison admits that they did all this stuff. Oh, they admitted it. I mean, oh. we might need it. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's pictures of it. Like, no, see, under this General Order 131D, Section 14B, and Edison is required, the Public Utility Commission requires them to consult with local agencies for doing projects that have potential land use conflicts. And I, it's a very low bar to argue that when you build a helicopter pad in a residential neighborhood and fly helicopters in and out of it, there are some land use conflicts with that. So that's all we have to show. And a huge safety issue. Well, that would be the land especially use with, <laughs> Especially with the fueling, you said the fueling, hot what, what, fueling the hot fueling. And, and considering it was uh, uh, either right, I can't remember if it was right prior or during. In a high the, fire the, zone. Well, a, a PSP like, yeah. It was like. Either yeah. a warning or an yeah. But a high but fire zone. zone. But the point being is like the very thing that you are supposedly working on is the thing that you're in the middle of hot fueling in the area that you see is high danger for poles just standing there, let alone helicopters flying around. So this is a formal complaint. I mean, mm -hmm. and after the resolution, the only place to go if we're unsatisfied with it is the California Supreme Court. So it's like a real deal. Mm -hmm. Take it to the Supreme Court. I'm not. I'm not. No, I, I'm. Con I'm comfortable that we're going to prevail yeah. because we have the truth and we have the law. Yeah. And so. Was that a one-time deal, or is that guy's pad going to be used again? Or we don't know. We well, don't. We don't. Probably, if they have any sensitivity, they'll find a different spot. But like an airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or one of the many other patents. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. That's what seems crazy. Like, it, it's going to take a horrible accident. How, how, how can you not? <clears throat> I hate to say it. But. it. Well, yeah, and the thing is, is like, I think in terms of like, you take the Joe Blow homeowner as a drone and flies over someone else's property, and that's egregious you know, FAA violation. Here we're talking about a freaking helicopter, and there's like nobody. There's nothing like with that. That seems crazy. Yep. We're not talking this about police chase. This is like well, half the half the half the reason for doing this is is Edison. The other half is the county because if the county has said and county council reiterated to you that the county has no say in anything that the utilities do. Well, anything approved by the public utilities commission. Right. Exactly. So, but the public utilities commission and I, I think I sent you the yeah, general order. Yeah said you have to, and if there are conflicts, so for example, if Edison had conferred with Oscar Gomez and Oscar said, gee, I don't, I think there's a problem with flying helicopters in and out of somebody's home or residential neighborhood. <laughs> um, maybe we can find something else. If Edison said no, you know, it's, it's at that point where the discussion happens for alternatives and everything else, right? Instead, Oscar just says, well, they're, they're exempt from anything we have to do. So Edison just rolled for Yeah, so okay, cool. So um, and the way it's supposed to work is if there are conflicts, the county's to point them out, let us know, we can try to work with them on solutions, yeah. and then if Edison balks, 
Then the county is supposed to go to the PUC and request a hearing. And a hearing will be convened within 30 days to resolve the dispute. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay. So, and none of that happened. Okay. So that was the last announcement. <laughs> so we're not getting $15,000. I'm sorry? So we're not getting $15,000. Because I would also got $15,000 at the parade of tables, so he's just being facetious. Well, I mean, you know, <clears throat> you know, Aquadelsi does a lot of good with their money. They, they turn that... Oh, I agree. Yeah, I just... We just need the... We're the red-headed stepchild. No, we just need our, our community <laughs> organizations, <laughs> other than this one, to... Yeah, our community club could, could use it, yep. Yeah. And, but I don't know if they've ever asked us to bend and bow and scrape. So the PUC is going to say, hey, you did a bad thing. Don't do it again. Or they actually get penalized. Well, I'm not, I, I don't know. The relief we've asked for is not nothing financial. Right. We've asked for Edison you know, to do certain things. And then the last thing, as I recall, I pull it up, is a definitive statement from the commission to the county that, yes, the county is supposed to be participating in this and not just hand wave whatever Edison asks for. So I, I don't know what county council needs, but. No. Because yeah. they well, since the their explanation was, yes, under the, the, trans, the Casby transmission line, that there was findings that said, you must comply with the county's lack out of this case. Do you, do you have information that they did approach Oscar Gomez or anyone in additional planning? Uh, after the did. fact. After the fact, Oscar says, no, we don't have any authority, but Edison, I don't think Edison ever approached the county and said... And that's the problem. We have yeah. issued a Public Records Act request to the regional to find out to get all of the data, timestamp when emails happen, because we know when the times happen. We're, I, I, based on Oscar's answer to me, they didn't consult. Yeah, yeah. that's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. and that's why we have the truth and the law. We got it. So, we might lose some savings on the way up. Yeah, because I was thinking about when the neighbor said, hey, there's a cat on the train from three miles up the street. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 well, that's we, we reached out to Oscar, and Oscar says they're exempt. I'm like, well, so the, probably the most important thing coming out of all of this is not necessarily Edison, no. if, if we prevail, Edison talking to the county more. It's the county will insist that Edison talk. Yeah, to the vehicles, yeah, buses. Well, I mean, I think that's the key with this is um, setting up the, the boundaries that that exist, but reminding people that they're there so that exactly. things can follow, so that we don't become roadkill. Exactly. No, exactly. So I guess Chuck, if you could help with that, if we have a chance or an opportunity to speak with county council to get from them or whoever, your staff, whatever, what what it is we need to give to them to prove. That the county. Oh, I can certainly ask that. I can ask that. Yeah, yeah, just because whatever it is, I will make sure we get it. Because that's what essentially what you're asking. One of the, the goals of the. the exactly. The okay, so I, I, the problem, a problem I have is if I fight for one thing and if, because I don't have a period in the right place or a comma, the county council is going to balk. Okay. That's not okay. good enough. That would be very bad. So okay. it would be I'll very bad. Thank you. Then I will, if is anyone, we can. Post General Order 131D, where I highlighted the section if people want to look at it. Okay, so that's that. That's the announcement on that. Uh, on, while we're on Edison, then, have you heard, have they came out with any guidelines? And what was it? I don't know, 43 yeah. mile an hour sustained winds. That's what they said the new thresholds are, which is about 100% increase over the 22 mile an hour sure. that they were cutting off before. So that, that is probably why they didn't cut power. But they were, the, the news is saying up to 60 mile an hour gusts in the canyons and passes, which is not, it's that's like Lateau Canyon, Lateau or Hauser Mountain, not, not downtown Acton. It's like, that's, that's a valley, it's not a pass or a canyon. So, but, yeah, they, but, 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 but they didn't give us any examples of. Last year was this, right. and then right. okay, and this oh, year yes. we're expecting this. They need to clarify it, especially on their website, so you understand. Well, well here, okay, so let me tell you what's going to go down. Within the next week, Edison will be issuing a 
post PSPS event report, okay, which we will comment on because part of Acton got cut, cut off, a lot of places got cut off, but now that I know part of Acton is really commenting on it. They are supposed to provide a map of where the shutoff was, what um, uh, 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 met data they used, where the location of the met tower is, before they were cutting power on shovel based on met data from three miles away up a huge canyon, so it was like crazy. So they don't, they weren't matching the data. They were, I think they just went out to find a place that had the highest wind that they yeah. could yeah. and then argued. And even then it didn't even make it, so. Where's that report that we filed? They filed on the PUC? They, yes. yes. And the PUC has changed this website, so it's very hard to find these things. So I will eat with, since we are part of the could, so, because one of the things we fussed at Edison about before Thanksgiving is that they kept wanting us to, they kept wanting to tell the Barber's office information that they wanted us to distribute to the community, like, you know, the reason for this. And we kept saying, no, 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 we have no, we're not here to be yeah, here. We're not going to take it. Yes. And so, you didn't it. say that. You <laughs> talked to Acton directly and scared you cats. <laughs> and so, well, and the one that I really, and so I kind of flipped out for Rochelle because she, because we said, well, at some point we said, did you tell Acton that they're going to be having one of your crews no. out here? And so she says, oh yes, we did. We, I copied you the email. And I go, and I go, I've done it. So we're on the phone, and I'm looking at the email. I go, well, it says we're deploying teams. Look on this website. You didn't tell them it's coming to Acton. No. You said, go on the website and look for it. That isn't the same thing. No, no. And that's something we, we brought up, too, we which we asked. Ask. We asked. We said, are you going to ask me? Because we don't know. And it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. So what are you going to be doing for me? I, I also and agree. That we ask them. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I appreciate that. And I think the 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 caps on this too is we couldn't have been going the other way where you cry wolf too many times. They tell people PSPS should power go up, and then they do it again. They do it again. Just kidding. Yeah. And then no one's power <laughs> shot. Yeah. You know, we're prepared. And so I, I you know, it's not that I want. I mean, I, believe me, I'm all for like rather not have my power cut off. Believe, I mean, great. Hey, great that it was not going to happen. But there is a little bit of it. Should I put the turkey in or not? Yeah. Well, and I know people that, that, that left <laughs> and went other places because of it. So, like, you just said, I'm not even going to bother with it. Or did it the day before because we're like, well, I have power and it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's I'm going to, yeah, I'll put it out. So, that, none of that's good. I think it also is stressful and traumatic on people to be in the mindset, like, I, I got to prepare all this stuff. And they make it seem like the preparing is like, like, what they tell you to prepare for an earthquake, you're like, well, I have a bag of stuff in there. No, this is like, I need water for animals, I need to get ice, I need to get gas from my generator, which sounds really dangerous to have gas when there's static electricity because there's wind. All these things. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's what you have to do. It's not the same thing as like, be prepared for an emergency. This is like, prepare to go to the Stone Age for prepare for camping. <laughs> this is like, it, it, this is a way. 2021 to 1820. Yes, yes. And then, that's fine if I want to live in 1821, but I can't even leave you do that in California. I can't be off the grid. So. If I can do that at this point, that sounds much more appealing if I control my destiny. They, they, don't have oh. a, they don't have an appreciation of the rural life, of no. the hardship that we go no. through with no water, no electricity, no TV. No. No. Well, and, and it's our job, room. frankly, to convey that to yeah. the PUC. So, um, what, to make the comments useful, you said a couple of things, but if there's any postings you can yeah. Oh, said, because yeah. those are very impactful yeah. on the PUC. Oh yeah, when, when they see people saying like... Yeah, because nobody yeah. said the stuff we said. Nobody yeah. looked at the engineering data and oh. said, they're full of garbage, yeah. you know, so... Okay. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Have great... Like <laughs> <Yeah>. mud. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If it's windy, yeah. then I turn it off. Yeah. If it's also not windy, then I turn it yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. hold it here if I feel yeah. wind. From the very beginning, they have told us always, over and over and over, be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's always consistent, whatever that means. It's also pretty different. It's all it's a, I, you it's a, a, I don't like big corporations having such total control yeah. of my life. At least if I know what's coming and what the well, perimeters are going to be, sure. I can you know I can deal with it. Well, but by extension, it's their call. Yeah. Well, by extension, though. I mean, I think my power is up somewhere between 12 and 15 times scheduled this year while they have yeah, yeah. So in that, why did we do that if I'm in the same boat where I'm still getting calls and told them I'm yes. What was the point? Because that's the same thing I had without those. So in other words, this was worse 
because now I got the threat and I have like 15 days without power that I didn't or something. So it was like, you know, salt in the wound. It was bad and it was getting it was bad regardless. And now it was like, cool, we're gonna intentionally do it bad. And then whatever God dishes out with the roll of the dice for the wind, you also get bad. It's like I mean, it's a, I mean, literally, it was the first wind event of the year. We had no, uh, October was completely silent. Yeah. November, the first wind event, PSP. Second wind yeah. event, PSP. It's yeah. for your safety, Jeremy. Yeah, oh, I feel so much safer. Well, and, and you know, to, to your point on big business, you know, big business were unfettered, you know, that yes. would be one thing. But they're not. The PUC is supposed to regulate them. And I, so, you know. I filed so many complaints with them over the years. I, and they just they quickly dismissed. Well, they might do it to us on this one, and then we'll just file the other one on the violations. So, because I have one now pending on uh, one prior to Thanksgiving when they turned the electric seat back on, and then three hours later they turned it off again. Ooh. And because the crew worked overtime, they said, well, we didn't know they were going to work overtime. Oh, wait a minute, I've been a manager. I know when my people are going to work over and I make arrangements. Yeah. All you have to do is send out a class email, boom, yeah. it's out in seconds. And they get, I got one an hour after they turned it off. Yeah, that's okay, you need to send that to me. Uh, the jump counts. Yeah, okay. it, especially the, the I think I did when I filed it. I'll no, no, I mean, no, no, the most recent one. The most recent one, they turned it off and then. Oh, they, no, the most oh, recent one over the we never got it turned oh, off. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, that, no, that's what stunned me is how hard it was blowing and, and, and it wasn't. But I got tons of warning about yes. it. Right? Well, I mean, I, I think that, that the work that they did did pan out. That's oh, no, I think it did pan out. But my, my, my question is, is then, uh, do we need less of these notices? Because the work we should. Yeah, that yeah. Thing. But that's what I'm saying. I, I find it alarming that we, and in between that, we still, I think, had more rain at this point in the year than we did the previous year. Because we had that one that, that one day of rain. Yeah. Not that that negates it. No, but, but, but the point green comes up. Sure. Well, yeah. 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 So, I mean, there's something. Any other comments? No, that's it on the okay. All right, so we have SMMC, MRCA, Mr. Edelman. He is not here. Um, do we want to start by setting the stage for that and then read his email that he said we could read? Or what do we want to do? Oh, please do. Why don't you read his email? <laughs> I don't have an uh, internet. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice and slow. Wait, this is the first email, then my response that I sent out as correspondent secretary. Then this. So, uh, you want me to do the uh, my apology in the first one they sent you? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So, Mr. Owens, my apologies, Jacqueline Jeremiah. Too much uh, has and continues to pile up to make it. Uh, I let human and with TPL know he might come, but low odds. Trust for public lands. Thank you. Um, all, I would, uh, all I would say if I, attend, if I had attended is that MRCA would leave the parcel as open space required by LACO open space district deed restriction and wildlife conservation board unrecorded grant agreement with some accommodation for dirt little league overflow parking. Any trails efforts would come much later and reflect pretty much exactly <laughs> what the community wants. Whatever the seller has put out there is totally moot. We will do our best to save as much land as possible and suppress the legal activity on it. This is so simple. That is what the MRC do, MRCA does for the public. We hope the town council understands this and puts something in the writing to the district to give the grant application a chance. If not, the community is rolling the dice over, what it, over a huge misconception. <clears throat> we want to be your partner and get this land in public ownership. Thank you. Please feel free to read this email and any others at the meeting tonight. Okay. Indeed. So now you want me to read your response back to that? Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, it's short. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Mr. Elton, that is very disappointing news. We have done a lot of outreach to the community to let them know that you would be here. Your email refers to LACO Open Space District Deed Restrictions and Wildlife Conservation Board Unrecorded Grant Agreement documents. Can you please send us a copy of them so we can familiarize ourselves with them? Also, can you please let us know with whom you've been working with at the county regarding this project? Your email suggests that MRCA SMMC perceives the community of Acton to be a partner in its various endeavors, and that? recent activity suggests that the MRCA SMMC intends to continue expanding its footprint within our community using a variety of state and local taxpayer supported funding streams. Given this, it is anticipated the MRCA SMMC will soon initiate some form of community outreach to begin collaboration and partnership on SMMC MRCA activities in our community. 
Such collaboration will avoid this sort of terrible miscommunication that occurred recently pertaining to the recent MRCA SNMC grant application for measure inputs. Mr. Evans responded and said, my apologies again. There is a standard WCB NUGA that now burdens the Robbins Nest property. I asked our legal department for a copy of an LAACO open space district deed restriction, and I will send it over soon the second I get it. On um, who we worked with at the county on this grant app, I think the answer is nobody. TPL may have had a brief contact with two barber deputies. We just submitted the grant. I'm disrespectful. When the town like supervisor part. Yeah. Uh, when the town council sent the letter, Sussing Namer, and he's Susan 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 Thank you. She's great. Uh, when Barbara's office called to see what was up, I told her a big misunderstanding. On the outreach issue, I think this is a one, uh, one-off crazy situation. On the formal outreach process, there are thousands of parcels. Each and every one a miracle and lots of stress to acquire. Sometimes there's confidential information necessary to complete deals, so I cannot promise the MRCA will consult the community on most acquisitions. That is what blew me away. Uh -huh. We do not proactively do that in any community because it most likely hurts the, hurts the odds of success. Our meeting notices are public and I'm always available for questions and reassurance. I can provide a map, a parcel data, and say MRCA is interested in all open space within this boundary. For example, we are now working to buy the 92 shakers on the eastern boundary of the Vasquez Rocks because the private foundation is interested in funding it up to a certain amount of money. We have, really have little choice on what to buy because funding sources and willing and sellers rarely align. If a landowner wants to donate, I do not think checking with, out with the county community makes sense if we're going to accept it regardless. The bottom line is the MRC wants to save a lot of land and pretty much let it be. Our maintenance funding is super scarce, so we really look hard at taking on even the most modest trailheads, even if it's just a trash can to be empty. A sign to remove graffiti from or a sign to be replaced is too many bullet holes. They don't want to have anything oh, yeah. that this community would yeah. use. Or pick up a common midnight construction number. I almost want to turn the question over to your shop. Is there any open space the community does not want us to protect? We want to make all communities better by maximizing open space. We want to be great neighbors. Paul. Wow. I really want them to come in person. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> wasn't for lack of <clears throat> I did send an email out last minute and tell people not to come because they were going to come just for that. And yep. Well, not that I don't want them to come to your meeting, but people were coming specifically for that. So, yeah. and they don't all live around here. So. He only sent that out late this no, morning. no, I mean, that was that last one was. Yeah, he sent the cancellation. Yeah, late late morning and then that last one. Yeah, he it was had a timestamp, but I was on the email all day and mm -hmm. I didn't see it till. So the community morning. of Acton shouldn't have any say on how our measure money well, it is like used. Like, uh, he's open to listening to the areas we'd like him not to touch. So I'd be happy to. Providing the list that <laughs> and I'm sorry, you mentioned there. Robin's Nest in there. I'm not sure. Like, wasn't that Robin's Nest? Is that yeah. trail uh, trailer uh, community? Mm -hmm. So what? Why was that mentioned? Because they they've acquired that that area. But it's burned. He used the word burdened by burdened. Yeah. He said it is burdened by a standard WCB NUGA. Uh, uh, wildfire Conservation Board. And what is the other one? N U G A. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, Sounds uh, like a candy bar. It, it, <laughs> you need burden with like restrictions, deep yeah. restrictions. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I, I get it, but uh, right. So, so because of that, they'll never do anything with it for public use. Well, right. No, we, we, he, 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 oh, and it's not their fault. It's, it's, it's their restrictions. And millions of dollars in taxpayer funds went to it. Yes. Why not? And, and, and they will. <laughs> And then, and when we when we pressed on that originally back with the measure eight funds, it was it, it, the sheriff's don't even they're scared of going there. No deal going there, and it's messy and, and whatever. And oh, he, was, he was quite and brusque was, about that. Yeah, yeah. Rude. But, but yeah, but the point being is that, and I think he even says it in here. They don't want to do anything that has to be upkeep. So if you think that the, that the property is whatever is there is how it's going to look forever, and uh, if that means it's not usable for recreation or anything else, they don't seem to have any interest in doing the follow-up to it because there's no funding for that. It's just to acquire it. That seems to be the... Well, here, here there were, I had a, a, a page and a half of questions pertaining to his proposal, mm -hmm. which he's not here, so I can't ask it. But there were other issues, too, um, including we need, okay, so he was going to take, they were asking for a million, are asking for a million dollars of measure A funds, that's our money, we pay, to, uh, 
to acquire this piece of property that was going to be treated like we just heard. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole thing was $3.4 million. Okay. Now, the property is landlocked. It's in an SEA. It was recently acquired for much It longer. won't be subdivided. It can be put to no purpose whatsoever other than a house on each parcel. Um, even if the person wanted to plant, you know, like make a, fa a ranch out of it, farm out of it, um, sorry, with ag uses, they would have to go through the SEA process and be forced to give up to 90 point, at least 90% of it away because of the public land it took a horny toad off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or 80%, sorry, 80% for horny toads. Um, um, so I, I really want to understand why they were going to use so much of our tax money. I mean, our community gets less than $50,000 a year for measure money. It would take us 20 years to save up the million dollars that they just want to blow on this piece of property that they're going to set aside in, in a checkerboard fashion because it's not attached no. to anything else that's open. And, yeah. and basically that property was sold. Yes, for $790,000 less than a year ago. Yeah. So, in one so, year, so somebody is going to make a heck of a lot of taxpayer and, money in their pocket. And my memory serves probably the same person or persons. I think acquired Robin's nest before. It was $299,000 and they turned around and sold it for 10 times more. Within, they were in a purchase agreement to sell it two months after they acquired it. Seems odd. So, so this stuff about we don't want to tell the public because um, we don't want the property values to go up. They don't, yeah, once right. you make a, an agreement to sell it, to, uh, uh, you don't have to have escrow open, but you have a letter agreement to sell a property once all the funds come through. Once that happens, there's no reason not to tell the community about it. There's absolutely no reason at all. And, and as we talked about at the last meeting, um, our, uh, our POSD policies for not communicating with the uh, community because that property values might go up, it's only, it says explicitly that policy only applies in urban areas around Landlock parks. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it has nothing to do with that. So, so we had agreed at the last meeting, and I haven't done it yet, is to write, reach out to our POSD to address that policy. I thought it would be better to wait till this meeting, have more discussion sure. on that issue, so that we could have a more round yeah. conversation yeah. with our POSD. Mm -hmm. Now he's not even yeah. here. Yeah. I, I, I just I think it's completely unethical that there's that somebody's, that, that somebody's bought property. I think knowing that they have a place to park it or has some tax agreement and that somebody's making a lot of money. I, I just want to, it's tax, it's our money. Yes, it's but, but, our yeah, money. but I'm saying, like, if our money is $200,000 to acquire a nest versus the whatever it went for, here, same property, 799 less than a year ago, is going to sell for $3 million of our money because, you know, it's our money, it's there for the taking. Nobody asks. No, I think there's something. There is something wrong with this system. For years now, MRCA has gotten, gotten and is asking, continuing to ask for millions and millions of dollars to acquire apparently thousands of parcels, which they won't even tell us where they are. I mean, somebody is making money somewhere. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Well, I mean, like I said, if you go from 800 to 3 million, so that's a little bit of a change there. 3.4 million, mm -hmm. yep. And uh, and Rob is just two ninety nine to like two point something million. So what's the next step? How can we stop them from making a deal with whoever for this? For our, well, you know, I, what I mean, like how how does what's? I don't know. I don't know what the council wants to do. I don't know what the community wants to do. That's why it'd be kind of nice if some people were here, even though the MRC isn't here. Yeah, um, I, I do think we need some. some I don't think people want to trust our measure a money into anybody's hands from. MRC well, whatever, <laughs> at this point. Well, or, well in, 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 in something I mean, outside the community. I think that being in the community <clears throat> would have a better chance of serving the community than having some outside entity come in. Well, and yeah, so let me tell you that MRCA, I can't remember <clears throat> my computer. For some reason it's died. I do remember. MRCA is made up of Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy, the Rancho Conejo. Public Parks District and the uh, no, Conejo Valley uh, par uh, Regional Parks District and uh, Rancho Simi Regional Parks District. Okay, those are parks districts that were formed, and they they are the directors are voted on by the people within the district. So 
The people in, ben, in Rancho Simi and in Caneo Valley, both of which are in Ventura County, are the people who are able to vote for yes, they the decision makers sure. at MRCA. We don't have any. No, we don't representative. You know, our representative, Supervisor Robert, couldn't say boo to them. Yeah. And Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy is completely yeah. appointed and has, has no uh, response well, whatsoever. And, and I think that, that that's so. So the, all, this is all of our tax money, <laughs> LA County tax money that LA County is paying for. Is going to go to the control of people living in Ventura County. Well, and that's why when he, he kicks the door open, then hey, to through to us, what we don't want protected, which I think is a really cute way to put that, right? Like to make it sound like what we're wanting to not protect stuff. Well, one of our responses should be it already is protected. Yes. This is an SCA. The county has done a Correct. fine job of yes. protecting that. Correct. And, that, and I was going to go along those lines and say the SCA, we have protections, we have yeah. uh, the national monument, we have the national forest, we have all these different cutouts, the things that already exist. Um, we would like to just to not and with that, no connectivity to the. I mean, there's plenty of places you can get into the National Forest Act. Yes. Oh, we don't need a proposal. Had like 15 different places saying there's almost no connectivity. Yeah. Nobody can get. There's the, the, the pages and pages of the stuff that are just flat out not true. Yeah, but it, I mean, complete yeah. fabrication. And it's, but don't they already say on some of the stuff they weren't letting anybody on anyway? So it's like it's not even a connection if you don't let people on it. Yeah, yeah. It's like like like. like it's so, it's so, like saying. We want to control a place where people yep. can't access. Yep. So, so here's the here's the thing with that. This whole proposal, they were really hitting hard access to national. The, the, the national forest, or forks, right? It's actually the national with that. Except for if you really look in detail at the words, that trailhead, yeah. all the facilities they were promising were actually going to be on county property, not on their property. No. It was going to be on rehab property. But it's just painful. And so, like so that's what we need to talk to the county because Sounds like we because need to because it. there's <laughs> well yeah exactly <laughs> this and, and, and there's nothing in this um, proposal that we need to get the trailhead that it claims to secure. That, that, that's my point. So I, yeah, that's I, another conversation that, that we need hmm. to have with Supervisor Barber and Parks and Recs potentially. Um, but um, I think we need to get back to them and ask and say we don't understand. You know, we, why we we need this project to get the trailheads that you're promising? Yeah, one, yes. two. If you're not even promising them, Jackie. Well, that, yeah. that's true. They're ginger. It's, it's like it's like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> that. It's, it's like the, the, the sports field. It's the same it holds the same weight. It's just made up stuff to sound pretty, so people go, okay, sounds great. It's open space. I think most people think open space. They think, oh, like I can go hike on it. I can do things on it. And that's not what they want. Yeah. No, no, they, 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 they literally want open space. Open space that nothing gets ever crosses. They just want to take people. it away from anybody that yes. uses it. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay. So, so, and we just did a survey in this town what people wanted to measure and money to go to. Yes. Do we know if anybody said they wanted hiking trails? No, no. Did they want open space they couldn't touch? <laughs> but they didn't even say they wanted hiking trails. I don't know if they or horse trails. I, I, people, people, might, might, people might have said equestrian trails because that's. Something that we've always sure. asked for, but but we've but, also explained that we don't need measure right funds to do that. We just need public works and regional uh, parks and recs to, to do work together. Right, um, but, but it would be a, yeah, I don't basically know. a trail to nowhere. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, but the well, 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 in this <laughs> case, it's a trail to the. You no, know, there would be. No, yes, but what I'm saying is that property doesn't need to exist. That property could be privately owned. Yes, you okay. could still have that trail that they're talking about and. And we can use measuring funds to do that. Like, yeah. like, we, we can remove them out of it. And but that, my point is, it's not what people are asking for with their measure eight funds. Correct. Yes. I think, I think there's two problems here. One, that we did surveys in the community because we did community outreach that they didn't do. Right. Uh, along with our friends at Active Park, people who are involved in the park, that all our people use. Uh, and and they, none of the people said we want MRC to have funds to set up a, a dead piece of property that no one can touch. <laughs> uh, that's one. Two, the counties installed you know, install lots of protections uh, with the SCA, in addition to the National Monument, in addition to the, the National Forest, that protect all the things that we, as a community, desire. <laughs> yeah, you know, and in the supporter project like this, they need to be a covenant that says, here's what it's going to be used for, here's how it's going to be used, and that would have to run with it forever. And without that, I don't see how it could be supported. Yeah. And we want to see that covenant ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. Frankly, our POSD measure A funds shouldn't be allocated until that's established. That's and right. that's what that's why they need to talk to the community first. Yes. And and 
his follow-up email to me just was stunning. No intention of doing it. No, no, no. He's not going to. That, that's why I, I think the, the main thing. Well, they don't want us. They said it's better if we don't know what yes. we're going to do for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. No, it's better that you don't know what we're going to do for you. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But on top of that, it doesn't even sound like what they're doing for us is something we want. That's right. So, or, or, or it's nothing for us at all. No, that's my point. It's, it's not actually anything. anything. It's, it's, it's literally it's removing property it's from taking three point four million dollars of taxpayer money. Right. And, and I'm gonna put my tinfoil hat on and wonder. Can I borrow that? Yeah. <laughs> Since they tried to bamboozle me with the sports field, they think they're gonna. They wanted support on this grant. I wonder how much. I wonder if this ROSPD or whatever that county thing is, I wonder if they have any support there already that we don't know about. I'm sure they do. I yeah, the people who give us this money. Stuff I'm not comfortable saying. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> why? Why? no, because they, they participated in yeah. this. Uh, no, no, I, I, no, 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 I, no, but I think there's even because there's we have, you asked them if right. they had spoken with the county. Right, about us? Who they, they had spoken yes, with? Yes, our POSD is very funny. They, they are. We are county employees, but our POSD is a separate agency. Okay. So it's like, it's so still the county. In this letter to them, we should say, ask them, you know, about the our POSD specifically. If, uh, ask them what? That's ask them if they have already talked about this project as being valid for Measure 8 funds. I've got to think they have. I mean, they, they must have, I hate to say it, I might have still on, and this is just conjecture, but it sounds like there's an inside man. Oh, I think there's uh, a lot of well, people yeah. all over the place. Because it's a sticks. So I, the problem, a, a problem I have is with asking more questions at this is there, point. Yeah, it's for sure. It, is, I don't know that we... I don't think we need the answer anymore. I think he will deflect. I honestly think he'll just say it. Then we just say, but you know, look, it's not what we're asking for. It's already protected. And without a covenant that, that guarantees its use, yeah. we're not interested. Yeah. And, and I think further on that is... is Outlaying, hey, this is how it's protected. Um, we will do the outreach to the community, but we believe that with their most recent outreach, the community wants the measure of funds used differently, um, and uh, that we, we encourage them to do community outreach before acquiring property. Regardless of whatever it says, the reason is I don't really care. Uh, it's not the right way to do it. And and then, you know, then I think it's on, I do not trust. So wait, can I yeah. guard, I think, May, may ask, we should probably ask, make it clear that if you don't garner community support ahead of time, we don't want our community. We can 100% tell you anything. We will right. never support. In fact, we will adamantly oppose, is how I probably would put it. Because at that point, I, I, that, that to me is like a war cry. That, hey, if you're going to now start just blindly acquiring property in our area with money from our community <laughs> that we can't touch. Then now it's, it's a different set of rules. Now. But who who grants that money? Who cuts the check? The yeah, county? Our POSD. Well, part of it was the they, 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 they gone to a bunch of different part buckets. Of it was yeah. far, uh, this the last piece was the measure A is what they kind of described. It was like they had three million dollars, three point whatever million dollars in the last little bit. That's why I'm like, this is this is crazy because there's there's too much weird. It's almost like somebody said, "How much money do you think you could get together for this?" And they're like, "Oh, no, three point four million dollars." And whoever owns the property, which happens to be the same people who own the other property, said, that sounds great. And then they'll force the issue to get that much money raised using whatever these bully tactics they're going to use. And then that, there we go. That's how they got the money. They didn't say, like, what's the market value for this property? Well, it's sold for $7.99. We'll give you $7.99 or eight fifty for it. They're going to do, they've, they've put in the proposal for $3.4 million. The appraisal report is not going to be done until next week. Yeah. So it's like... It's and, and I don't. Okay, the guy. It's I don't. I don't yeah. know who owns the property now. It's, it's some Robinson special Smith. super duper treat. No, you know it's. They sold somebody else. No, no, no. It's some. It's some super secret trust in Nevada. It's a Nevada or Arizona trust. But the same guy, the guy who represents them, is the guy who pulled off the Robinson's Nest yes. coup. Okay. So. So this trust is designed to. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Oh, so yes, to hide the, the ownership and, and the uh, paper trail. That's correct. And you're never ever going to find out who owns that trust. And it doesn't really matter anyway because they <coughs> bought the property less than a year ago for 800 grand. 
So why should our tax money go to 3.4? I also want to ask them why they, why, how they came up with this 3.4 million. No, that's what point is. landlocked. Yeah. It can't be developed for anything other than two homes. Yeah. And Th th that's what I'm saying. None of it. It doesn't pass the smell test. It, none right. of it passes the smell test. There's but something. I think we should ask these questions. Oh, we can ask. I, yeah. I don't think we'll like the answers. Yeah. I think it's yeah. going to be. This is, this is, we're going to get 46 reasons why you can't tell us. Well, I think something. They built a black box. All, all, this, all this stuff has gone into building these stupid. And that's why I think they are. SMC and MRCA monsters were built as black boxes to kind of separate them from the government, but not separated from the government. They're really, really close, and then they can do all this no, and then them. just pour money into it, pour money into it, let them acquire a bunch of junk, and then land, you know, lock it off, and then who knows? I don't, I don't know what the end game is. I have ideas of what I think the end game is, which is eventually that they control enough that they do some fun stuff with but for, for us, developers to develop our For program. as underhanded as MRCA has approached this with the county or, or BD or whatever that agency is, that agency really should say, well, have you talked to the community, you know, at them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So for as underhanded as MRCA is, the people they're talking to who hold the money should actually be looking out for us and saying, have you talked to Acton? What's your outreach? You should go to a town council meeting. So that's, that's, I think that's the bigger problem and that's what's scary because if they make a decision without us, that's it. Well, our POSD, in all their guidance for their grants, say you've got to do all this community outreach. And, and, and this organization, MRCA, has said, well, there's this letter that says you don't talk to people until it's already done. Maybe it's but it's completely not true, because it's completely, it's not even applicable here. Mm -hmm. So whatever we say to MRCA, we should CC our POSD yeah. for write a separate letter. Sure. But I, I okay, I, I'm concerned that there's, this is, okay, democracy is not a spectator sport, correct? Right? So this is just us dealing with that. But there's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Mm -hmm. Something is going no, down. That, that's so right. I think we need to talk to our state elected officials yeah. and tell them millions of tax well, dollars. Yeah. There's something we need there, to there, there needs to be some light shine. And Supervisor Barger yeah. needs to I, I think that there's, the, the, the linchpin of this is, is that, and I know uh, somebody uh, brought up that the same individual who represented these said the same thing in Santa Cruz, another thing, where properties were changed, community support was generated for something that never came to fruition, that runs up the price. There, there's something funny about acquiring a piece of property for something, flipping it almost immediately to like an infinite supply of money. And there's so much money sloshing around that nobody blinks at $3 million. Oh, you hear LA County with $3 million, you're thinking, oh, it's a little tiny parcel. Yeah. Not, Nope. A gigantic parcel that's going to like mm -hmm. take out a huge chunk of that. So to me, there's something very concerning that there seems to be a formulaic process that's going on. It's dark, and it's spurted, and it's hidden. And there's lots of money floating around that yep. somebody's going to somebody's pocket. Yep. And MRC has, doesn't care. What do they care? They got the, they got the property. They, they might actually be making the money. Well, no, maybe they money. Or who they are recycling back in. Because now the person who gets the money, maybe they're donating it back in to acquire other parcels. I don't know. But there's there's no, no light on it. When we've asked questions, we've got non-answers or paper thin reasons of why they can't provide answers, which frankly smell the high heaven. Anyone talk to the LA Times? It sounds like a yeah. perfect thing. Yeah. Or another NPR yeah, and NPR and interview. The plan, the plan hmm. is to uh, discuss this with them openly tonight. Mm -hmm. Before, before you know, I, I believe you need to give people a chance right. to clarify. Well, I, that's what I want. And, and basically, and it didn't come to it, so right. but now it's different. Right. The response that we received basically says, "We're not coming. Yeah. Here's what we're about. Here's and, what and we're going to do." Yeah, yeah. So it didn't say, "Let's reschedule. Let's talk about it." Nope. It's, it basically right. said, "Here's our position." Yeah. So and we hope you change your mind and write a letter in support. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jenna, this is the property you're looking for. <laughs> this is the letter support. I don't know. I don't know. We have I some have three and a half acres of landlocked fence. No one uses it. Sell it to them for three million. Okay, so this is not.
what we want from the Measure A funds. Right. And why is it 3.4 million? I mean, how did they land on that? I um, told you I think. <laughs> um, pointing out, I mean, you can get the trail without the project, and the trail without the project, so why would we support it? And we're parking there already. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah. Well, yeah. other than it seems to be a problem, I don't know. But I think it'll be kind of um, what we call a problem. The, the, the property's already protected because of SEA restrictions. A second. Am I catching everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. A second. Um, uh, t to um, to secure community support of future projects, we want a covenant that guarantees the use before the applicant before yeah. the grant applications even filed before the applications filed. Community support in future projects. We want a covenant that guarantees the use, or you know, make that part of the proposal. You can't issue a covenant on property until you like, own it. But yeah. Okay, a covenant that what? I'm sorry. That guarantees the use. Guarantees. oppose any project for which support is not garnered ahead of time. Community support. I think it really bugs me is we probably would have approved that we supported that project if it was a reasonable price. I mean I don't know why we wouldn't, because it was going to give guarantee the parking that we needed. Sure, sure. Right? Well, I think the the shadiness around the whole thing that was what it's, it, it, to me, it would be a big uphill sale because you're, even though yeah. they weren't involved with what the, the seller right. was proposing, they're now seeing kind of right. they're, they're, To me, they're doing a, a different version of it, like the trail. Like, oh, well, well, there's a trail. Yeah. 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 I agree, but I mean, they had been shady yeah. from the beginning and just been honest. I, I don't know and if the price was reasonable. Maybe, except for I'm like, the community show. But no, no, no. Sure. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't need it for seven or nine. Oh well, yes, it would because then they would have, you know, they, asked, they would have, they would have only took part of it and said we still can use measure. Well, okay, maybe, but then we still have parking for the baseball. I sure, mean, there, there'd be something we get out of it. But but yeah, but it, it, then that would have been the thing. I, I just don't think we would have opposed it outright if they just. I think we would have listened, but I think overwhelmingly, I think the community that was not. No one said on anything that I saw or have heard that there was something where people said like, oh, that. Yeah. That's what well, we want. People like the parking. I said, I, I yeah, don't know. Never got a chance. But the sounds like the county can provide that parking since they have. Well, I, right now. Yeah, I would think I mean, so. Because right. the rehab's got space, so. Right. And so that's the first part of the motion is that. Yeah. And then also, the second part is to reach out to the state elected officials about eliminating what we've, what we've found. Our concerns. And the use of tax money. And I told you what the uh, fish and wildlife guy told me when I was talking to him about it. Maybe I didn't. I was trying to get inf information from him. And I said, you know, these are all these millions of dollars taxpayer funds. Because it's not taxpayer funds. These are all um, bonds. It's all bond funding. Oh, well, and I said, just, I said to him, yeah, I said, so that case, who, so who, who, who do you think pays off the bonds? He goes, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like there's so much money sloshing around people don't even get done the process. You hear billions of people just glaze over. Oh, okay. So there's the motion. Okay. Yeah. Have a second. 
Yes, I think that one. All right, any other discussion? All in favor? Is anyone right. in the community? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh. So, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, you want to vote? Yeah, I. Okay. Opposed? No. Okay. All right. Motion's carried. The community. Mm -hmm. Was that an afterthought about the 22 acres in by Vasquez? About the what? So, so he, he dropped that in a passing thing in his response. Right. Is that his next part of it? Yes. Well, they've been talking about that for a while. They've been talking about it. They've been talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I had not heard it was them behind it. Maybe I figured. Agua Dulce Town Council has been talking about something uh, that's connected to Vasquez Rocks, but I wasn't clear. But now I think that. Yeah. that, that at least. It's like near the park, but I'm not exactly it's sure where. Is it's adjacent. The right next to it between the houses. Some, I, right there's there. something right in that area. I'm not there's, clear. There's, 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 if you go to the far side of the park, uh, and, and <clears> there's a sign that says like it's protected something, where it's a it's a conservancy piece mm -hmm. of property, and I think that they are trying to take it or acquire it from them to bring it under their umbrella. Yeah. I think it's a separate organization or person or entity that owns it now is what I think. That, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, something like that. So I feel like it's trying to... <clears throat> I thought it was going towards Gardens of Paradise, that direction. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you get over to that side and you're, there's a trail that like comes down on one side of the trail, you're in Vasquez Park, and the other side there's, there's, there's like little signs and it's like, you know, conservancy you know, take, you know, stay off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Protecting it from people, you know, people to. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of when they talk about that, they act like it's an expansion of the park. And I don't yes. believe that's no, that's my point. Not the MRCA. No, that's my point. Is I know. That's it's exactly that's what that's what the percent like that. But no, it's, no, it's going to be the same thing as now. No one touches it. Just looking. Because Vasquez Park, people are allowed to go. Yes. And walk all over. That's great. Uh, okay, safety on. Okay, I wish I could. I don't know why I'm going to use that, but it has. Um, the Regional Planning Commission is going to hear the safety element on December 15th. The uh, staff report came out on December 2nd um, saying that they hadn't received any comments on the public draft that was issued November 15th. I, I just read the report today, or most of it, I didn't finish reading it. I, of course, emailed to you right away saying, we submitted comments on November 15th asking for clarification of what this means, and you guys still haven't responded. I was like, come on. And then followed up with two other questions, one, one other email with several questions. So there's three policies that are greatly concerning to me in this current draft. One of them is the prohibition on subdivisions in very high fire hazard areas unless the property is uh, connected to public facilities infrastructure, which it's like, well, so because acting doesn't have a sewer system, yeah, like, nobody in, we can't subdivide here. No, 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 yeah, so say it's out really leaving that, and that sounds pretty really safe. I mean, it's like, does it mean a road? Does it mean, I mean, like, uh, it could be, it could be in or all. Oh, good. And, 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 just, and I, I had it written up, but I can't get to it right now. Um, <coughs> the, um, and also, it, it, unless it's completely surrounded by development, what does that mean? So part of the question was, like, if I have an 88 parcel, and there's a house you on the north side, a mile away, and another one on the east and west. Does that mean it's, does that count? Yeah. It's like a mile away, but it's, but it's around it. Yeah. Or if I have a parcel that's like one side of Butts and National Forest, but it's surrounded by homes, does that mean that can't be subdivided? And then I ask the question, it's like, you know, you, you're extinguishing huge property rights in our community yeah. with this prohibition. And so you need to demonstrate that this policy is critical to save lives. And you need to show that lives will be saved. When you can't show that, because you already have reasonably saved lives by requiring houses to have fuel mod and be compliant with current fire standards, right? So those are the reasonable steps to protect lives. So there's basically, what I'm trying to say is there's no nexus between prohibition on subdivision, extinguishing of property rights, and critical for saving lives. It's you not mean, you mean tell me like you just can't live there? Is it this? Well, it does save lives. You can't be there. You can't be. <laughs> no, it's not. It, no, no, because it's not saying you can't develop the property. It's just saying you can't subdivide. Yeah. And I, 
and there's no, 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 yeah, I agree with you. I just think it's funny because it's no, like, because it's like, I feel like that's the logical extension that they're taking. It's like, yeah, it's if you're him and you're living and you can't die. It's, a, it's actually kind of an important legal point. You can't, general plan policies are supposed to be, re, it says right out the street, they're supposed okay, to be reasonable. Okay, so let me ask you this because we're, like how much plan. land do we have that this would include? That's not good. Well, no, a lot of parcels can't be further subsidi uh, subdivided down. Um, let's talk about that. So that, uh, that's what I'm, that's, you know, so what areas are we SCA, talking about? The SCA ordinance prohibits subdivisions. However, if I had property in the SCA and I wanted to subdivide it, I would apply for subdivision. The minute it gets rejected by regional planning, I file a lawsuit because the APA area plan explicitly said the minor land divisions will be allowed in SCAs up here. It says it straight up, and Supervisor Antonovich made sure that was in the motion. So basically now the SCA ordinance is inconsistent with the adopted general plan. Yeah. Which means that if anyone, but you you can't bring that up until somebody actually yeah, tries to stop it if you try. But this is this is the prohibition on all very high fire hazard areas, regardless of whether it's in the SCA. So it's all of that. And I, I said, I sent an email to the NISH and Supervisor Barber's office about the CPA report four months ago saying, this is what this says. And the NISH did a good job. He circled back with regional planning. Regional planning got back to him saying, well, we're not going to implement all of these suggestions. So we can hang your hat on that. But I'm looking at this prohibition. That's exactly what it says. <laughs> they are doing that. <laughs> and I don't get it. I mean, I don't believe Supervisor Barber's office or her agrees that nobody enacted should be able to subdivide their property. I, I just don't. Especially when there are already more than enough measures in place to ensure reasonable protection of lives and property. Okay? So there has to be a nexus between a policy and, and what it's supposed to intended to achieve. So that's my problem. A. Uh, but B. the subdivision language should be in the general plan anyways, right? That's where all those maps and overlays are? Yes. Yeah. So even if, so, why do they try to put it here? We have a general plan amendment coming in. At what point? I'm just curious. I'm just trying to. 2035. That's why they put it there. Okay. That's why. So, uh, I mean, that's when the next update is supposed to happen. And the last update, they were um, 10 years later, so it might be 2045. So. What's. <laughs> <laughs> It's just frustrating, you know. So that's the first policy. I, I prohibition on some reason. Sorry. <laughs> and I've asked for clarification. What does this mean? What does it mean to have? And what does it mean to be surrounded? Okay. Yeah, yeah, like it, it, it's it's a typical nebulous definitions that depends on how they're feeling that day or who's in the office that day that how they interpret it. Yep. So then the other two policies are policy I think it's four point eight and four point four. One of which we talked about before it was um, uh, promote retrofitting of homes, right? And what I noticed today, I didn't see it before, but on the implementation, they're going to adopt t revisions to Title 21 and Title 22 to implement those provisions, which means they are going to come up with ordinance that will require retrofit of existing homes. And then the, the, the policy 4.8 that I hadn't seen before, and I just noticed it today, says, um, I'm sorry, my computer's not working, but basically it's a, a second policy for bringing co homes up to uh, complying, compliance with current fire resistant building material standards. So it's the same question over, it's like, so how, how is this going to be implemented? You can't, you're not supposed to write vague policies that can be implemented however they feel like. No, that's okay. They would come on Tuesday or Your policies are supposed to be clearly established to achieve an objective. And that's not what any of this is. I, I don't know. I kind of think the objective Chuck, is Chuck, this, this plan is doing exactly what's called. I think it's trying to call it. Kind of okay. well, you included a mission in your email, though, so when it goes to my superiors, I keep my nose out. So. Okay. Well, I don't know what we need. I'm tired and I'm angry. We need somebody to fight for us. Now, we need somebody to stand up to regional planning. To protect our slice of heaven? Well, 
I guess. I don't know what that means, but yes. Well, active learning. I don't know what that means. What, what do you mean? Articulation of understanding what this means. Oh, I, 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 I want them to care. I, mean, this, this, I don't think it's well, too much to ask. Too, but yeah, I don't think it's too much to ask to say that if our community wants to look, it would be a certain way. With no reason again, that, that nexus you're talking about, where hey, we've, we've done the things, and you're not going to hold gun point to somebody's head and tell them red tag your house because you didn't update to the, some magic code in 30 years or whatever. That we sh should be supportive in that and not tr try to be feeling like we're undermining at every turn. That it's constantly a battle. It's just like leave, like, like leave us alone. Like just let it be instead of constantly trying to change here. Great, if other areas want to change in their city and they want to do whatever, knock themselves out. But if we want to look this way, we our only representation is the county. And so they should And this is a county action. Yes. And so they should listen to what the residents say and say like, hey, you guys, you know, Jackie, the community says that, <clears throat> that they want this more clearly defined. Cool. What can we do to make that more clearly defined? I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask. And then, and then at that point, you can have the conversation of, is that too narrowly defined? Is that kind of ridiculous? We can have that Or what are you trying to do with this? Yes, yes, yes. Well, and I think they're nebulous, like, we're trying to save lives. It's like, it's like you know, for the children. Like, then you need to show them to save lives. And other measures can't count that. You, you, when you take away people's property rights like this, no. it's huge. I mean, huge. Yeah. And, and, and I, I'll be honest with you, Jeremiah. I, I... At this point, I, I'm not looking for somebody to care. I just want honesty. Yeah. I don't care, and we're going to support this the way it's written, or I do care, and we're going to try to fix it. I would be happy with just that, frankly. I, I mean, I'd rather have the one, sure, right? sure. but it's a huge amount of work to do this. Yeah. You know? Well, I, that's what I mean. I don't feel like there's an advocate, and I feel like we're, we, you are always carrying more water than what you should have to when we should we have representatives that were elected and paying for that shouldn't do the water carrying. Well to be fair, yes. I think they're being lied to by staff. I really I'm sorry, I don't think I don't think regional planning, when they write these policies, or when they wrote the sustainability plan, is honest with yours with with Supervisor Burger's staff. I don't Thank I have seen the emails they've sent. I'm like that's not actually even what this thing says. It's not even true. So it's like Well it's either incompetence or Something's not doing their job. Well, it's either ignorance or, or negligence or, or I mean, yeah. 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 So here's the fourth thing that I pointed out today. Okay. Um, the sustainability plan, the implementation section, which is something I haven't really read much before. I'm missing 54 pages, and it's now in the third version, right? And I got other things going on. Um, it says that under S8. Implementation plan program eight is they're going to implement the uh, various elements of the, the sustainability plan, and they call out specifically the heat island uh, reduction plan. Okay. Well, the heat island reduction plan of the sustainable development. Well, the heat island reduction plan of the sustainability plan has actions and milestones that are huge, including, excuse me, replace 10% of heat trapping surfaces to cool surfaces by 2025, replace 30% of them by 2045, okay? Now we've argued in other venues that, that, that the sustainability plan should have had an EIR. We made that comment at the board meeting and so on and so forth. And what county council said was, this is just an aspirational plan. Yes, the it has yes, no yeah. fault, not, not enforceable, has no, has no weight, carries nothing, has nothing, has no force or effect. It's just pay no attention to the main line. Our little wish list, okay? And when these things go to the board for approval, these measures, these plans, including the heat island mitigation plan, they will go through secret review then. So now, on the very last page of this 54-page sustainability plan document, there's just one line saying implement the sustainability plans, heat mitigation strategy, heat, uh, heat island reduction plan. That's it. 
and then they have a negative, uh, they have a, I think it's a denim or a negative declaration, I can't remember, um, that they're proposing. Well, the environmental impacts of replacing the cool surfaces and all that is huge. I mean, they're going to, yeah, there's, there's uh, over 10,000, know, something like that, miles of yeah. county maintained highways in this county. 10% of it is the roads are bad enough as it is. And so the they, did, they did, the county has acknowledged that there will be significant impacts when in implementing these elements of the sustainability plan. And they will, they've committed to looking at environmental impacts when those elements are implemented. Well, this, this safety plan now implements those elements. And there's still, there's no environmental review. It's like, I mean, it's, it's bad. I mean, the county council is arguing in court right now that the sustainability plan has no meaning whatsoever. And, and, and they admit there's going to be a lot of significant impacts from implementing this plan, but we don't have, we're going to look at it later. We don't have to do it now because it doesn't mean anything. Well, now it's the sustainability plan. Pardon me? Who has them in the court of the sustainability plan? Who has what? Who has them in the court of the sustainability You said they're arguing uh, in court. Yes, they're, right? I, I don't want to talk about that. Yes. So, Literally a filing just about a month and a half ago. It says these things. So they're telling the world that they're going to do this environmental review at the time that it gets approved. Well, when you add that line to the sustainability uh, to the safety. safety element of the general plan, it is the, it is now binding and unavoidable. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's, it's like a hidden uh, <laughs> hidden so feature on a contract where it's like. Exactly. Hey, we now have your first Exactly. Like, so they're, not, they're not living up to the commitments they made to us when we asked them to do sequel on the state. You, I was just reading that the other day. Yeah. As, this plan is bad. And you know, we sent a request on November 19, and uh, November 15, and we never I sent it to Iris, because Iris is the one who acknowledged our <laughs> submittal on November 4. But now, hmm. we never got a response, and they're saying nobody sent in anything. Yeah, we did. Um, Terry, uh, I can't remember his last name. It was a great tour. We Good. went to all points of active. Right. And they understand now things about trails and access, and I've explained to them that in our community, trails and pedestrian pathways are like sidewalks in the city. And, and for, for parks and recs to say, we'll put the trails where we map them, where we say they go, would be like telling the people in East LA, we'll put the sidewalks we're going to put the sidewalks in where we think you should walk. <laughs> when we, it's like nuts. It's insane. It's just crazy. So, um, so it was a great tour. Okay. And we went down to um, where the wells are in District 37, the two wells out there near Arastre, and showed you know, where they're located in relation to all the uses around them. And, um, and it was eye-opening, I think, for them. And, and it was good. We drove down a few dirt roads, bumpy dirt roads. It was a lot good. of uh, good. concrete infrastructure. Mm -hmm. it showed, took them up to the area between McHenry and Desert Road and showed scout where scouring happened because of the concrete facilities that were put in and that we need to think of. We need to apply different solutions to our solutions to our community. Think outside and they the really understood that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a great meeting. Yeah. So, so that, it's on that front, that's great. And I know that Mr. Even was very sympathetic to the concerns that we raised in our conversation. You know, you know when we had that conversation. So, on the whole, Public Works, I'm giddy. Schoolgirl, how well that's, that's going. Right. Parks and Rex, you know, awesome. we'll have another meeting with them in January. Right. Let me see. But there's still a, an impenetrable wall right. in terms of I think we where need they to will get together. Um, you know, let's wait till right after the holiday and mm -hmm. get together. We need to implement and come up with how we are going to um, get our CSD back on track. Back on track where we want it. Yeah. You know, right. or you know, because it needs to be um, you know brought to the supervisors. Yeah, it does, but it needs to be the other to missing, missing elements need to be yeah. missing yeah. elements, and we need to know how those missing elements, if they can't be in the 
CSD, how they're going to be implemented. Well, I know that what you said is you need to be something CSD like for if the other departments, if that's if this isn't going to be right. Cool, how can we create these mechanisms for the other places? And I feel like we those things. That's great. I mean, that is fun. And I feel like we're moving towards that mechanism of public works. Yeah, nothing but the parks and Okay. Nothing. So I don't know what to do about that. So anyway. Okay. All right, I have officer assignments. So it's been a while. What would we do? We're supposed to put yeah. three people are supposed to go out and come back with a slate of officers. Is that the way it works? And so, and okay. then there are four of us sitting there. I don't know if we can do this without. Okay. I don't know if we can. We have a core. We know okay. we can just. You can call Pam. Pam yeah, can, can participate by phone. Yeah. yeah. Do we need a core? Do we, we have a core? Yeah, we have a Can we just also vote to, for everybody to stay in their same I think we can do position? that as well. Yeah, I think so. If everybody's cool with what they're doing. I move that we keep the same slate as is. I'll second that. <laughs> Provided that everybody's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. No, Pam doesn't get my job. That's what happened. You're not here. Yeah. <laughs> you volunteered for things. You did my job. I, I, I can't. I'm not capable of doing it. <laughs> Man, those are some great <laughs> All right, well, God, I'm grateful. Yes. I, 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 I would like to say I am super thankful for all of you guys for uh, showing up here. Uh, not just, it seems like every week sometimes, and just uh, all the stuff in between. So. Well, I'm, we're grateful for you. I'm grateful for you. Yeah. And all of you, everybody else. Oh, Kelly I, doing all the hard writing. Uh, oh, I, I would definitely. I would definitely. Jackie writing all the letters. Yeah. And I definitely would not be doing this if it wasn't for the university folks, because you guys are going to make some work. So. It takes a team. It does. So, all in favor? Aye. Can we say it's in? All right. Uh, opposed? Aye. Motion is carried. Everybody gets to keep their job. <laughs> Their non paying job. It's not making a job. Thankless job. Okay, so uh, we really, we have not had another meeting, but uh, we do need to uh, nail down on which part of the month we're going to invite the superintendent to town. And it seems maybe January, the first meeting, or the first meeting of the month might be the one we usually do. What is that date? And then I could, yeah, as chairman, reach out to him and invite him. So that'd be the fourth or the third, for January third, and then say, hey, yeah, the first, the first meeting of each. Do you want to come every month or every? Do you remember what he told us? Well, I, I, I thought it was quarterly too. I, I, I feel like it's quarterly month or something. I, maybe, maybe, maybe we uh, pretend like we heard that it was every other month. I feel like quarterly is not enough. Uh, maybe leave it at, a, at an open, you know. Yeah. Well, well, you know what? It's it's the first meeting of the first quarter, so okay. January third. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I, by all means, please also let me know that if there's other time that he would like to have yeah. us get we are, we will make room. For I just would like to get it as a regular standard. Yeah, yeah. But also, if, something, if there's something that, that arises, uh, I, will, I would like this to be able to be available for an avenue for him to be able to receive and give. Mm -hmm. And maybe January's the first meeting is not great because people still are in vacation mode. Yeah, well, or yeah, I'm not, I, I know I'm possibly out of town, although I shouldn't come back in case I'm probably here. So the, uh, we want to do this. Can we synchronize? Vacations. Yeah, that, that, that took a vacation calendar for uh, Do you want do you want to do the second one then? Let's, let's do the second, because I think maybe we'll get a better I, I think it will be a better turnout. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move it to the second one. And then if that doesn't work for him, we'll move him in the third one. That's Mark Lee for Key. Is it? Oh, that means it's so final decision. I don't know that we're at the final decision yet, because I think the, the second what um, well, we, we were, except for that's Martin Luther King Day. Although, I guess we're not meeting the library. Yeah, yeah. we're not meeting the library. That's usually why we didn't meet. Right. I think, though, it's a, it's a county holiday. And I think, uh, out of okay. respect, I would want... Okay. I'm a big fan of Martin Luther King. Well, well, here, we can't move the meeting, too, though. We can okay. This meeting is the 24th. If we, if we see if the okay. room's available. Yeah. So, 24th could be the second meeting. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no. That, the 24th <laughs> is when the sheriff's going to be there. Oh, that's right. All right. So, yeah, we can't, can't do that. Okay, so, so we, just, we can just not have it. First, <laughs> not have it. We won't have a second meeting. So, how about the first meeting in February? Okay. Which, <laughs> feels, <laughs> which feels like forever. Now we're February 7th. Okay. Yes, February 7th. February 7th. February 7th is trying to put together a meeting that's going to be either 14th and 16th of December, a, a Zoom meeting, to, for people to participate on the water plant development, oh, okay. which is huge. Is so Public Works has really stepped up, i got to tell you, and they're, you know, they were just going to do the water plant stuff through mm -hmm. uh, the Irwins, mm -hmm. and now no, they're putting up together a special meeting just to talk to rural that's communities, great. which is that's um, big. blow me away, Public Works, really is, in a good way. Yes, um, no, it's great. great. That's a good Yeah, it's huge. Sorry. I no, 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 I was just saying, yeah, that. it's, it's okay. Yeah. But is there anything else in education? That's it. That's it. So we were in our comments. Okay, so that was my comment. All right, that's a good, it's a great comment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got nothing, I just continue, just really thankful for you guys, so appreciate that. So the little tour that Jackie led, and not was absolutely fantastic because you should you could have been a tour guide. <laughs> she drove us around the places in Akron I've never seen. Yes. Um, she showed and, and and the information that poured out of her, it wasn't numbers and letters, it was pure love for her community. And mm -hmm. I think the two ladies yes. that were with her, with her really understood that. Mm -hmm. And the diversity of what we have here. Is probably not seen anywhere in the county. I, you know, over up behind where you live and where Jeremiah lives, mm -hmm. there's areas up there I'd never been and seen. Uh -huh. It's just crazy. It's cool stuff. It's a really cool stuff on there. You know, I never got past uh, the uh, telephone pole hedge place before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was always that's, my attraction. That's, but, that's, uh, that's like, yeah. yeah. And it's just, it, it was amazing. It was amazing. And I think that really sunk into them. You know, what that old yield in the future, I don't know, but it really was an amazing job. I'm glad. I'm glad that worked. That, make me, that makes me feel good. Yeah. Ms. Well, Gutierrez said that she was from Santa Rosa. Yes. And that um, she saw how much it changed, and she got that that's not what we want to happen here. We don't want to stop development. No, we want it done in a way that respects and, and, and yeah. maintains the character. Fits in that. Right. Right. The development that's laid out in the general plan. <laughs> Exactly. And they are CST. Yeah. So I think it really hit home with her, but you're very kind to say that, Tom. I'm glad. It was truly. I started, I had, at one point, I had six different stores going on. Oh, that, that was so was funny. funny. I never finished it. Yes. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, well, you know what? Did, did, did you ever finish, finish the one about the. Um, no. The, no, the, no, I never, never did. did. <laughs> that was, a, that was a, that's all right. I'll have to come back. Yeah, I said part two, to be continued. <laughs> That's all. Oh, no, y'all set it up. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Unfinished new business. Um, I think something that's kind of unfinished. Do we want to have a meeting on the twentieth? Do we want to leave it open that we might or may not? Just because I know that's going to be. I kind of think that it's, having a meeting is not going to be very productive, but we do need to make provisions for any approving any letters or meeting any uh, public comment dates during that time. Now. Well, the only ones I know of are December 15th, which, and, we which we've already mm -hmm. got, mm -hmm. and, and there's the, the ABL <coughs> thing, right. which is in a couple days, we've been invited to attend. <coughs> it's remote, Zoom, so I can send them to anyone. Um, we, could, uh, we could also just say that we... The water plant thing, too. But what I don't think we need to, well, it's being put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so don't know if we need to take a position on it. Until something happens. I mean, they're right, meeting. although they're, yeah. Well, well so, so I mean, we could leave it open, to, we could hold, leave that date available if we need to call, we can call it a special meeting. So for now, we can say the table will be, if we need to call it, you know that that date is at least available. Yeah. Right. That work? I, I just, I don't think, that, I agree, I don't think it's been I don't know there's much to, to talk about that. It sounds like we'll either be past some cutoff points for things and maybe not get up on anything new horror. Right. <laughs> the new stuff won't have kicked in yet. So. The uh, high speed rail EIR is going to be coming out, but probably not between now and then. 
Or well, if it does, but if it does, we don't do something. Let's go with my point. If it does, then, we'll, then we will have. I mean, okay. If there's something that arises, yeah. let's, let's call the meeting. But for right now, let's say we're not gonna. There will not be a meeting on the twentieth. Yeah, I mean, if it comes out, you need to have a special meeting. We're gonna have to have one there. Right? Yeah, for that. Yes, so and I would just perfect. discuss that yeah. because that's gonna. That's, that's like gonna a huge. The world's biggest local poll. That's gonna be huge. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you're canceling? So we're gonna cancel the twenty. The meeting on the twentieth, pending anything falling out of the sky, like the EIR for the uh, high speed rail or something. I want to get a clear statement there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I was going to come back to. I just want to make sure we had come to a resolution before I. Uh, it's true. So, <laughs> <laughs> and then two months after that, literally we'll only have the first meeting. Yeah. January, yeah, because it's. The seventeenth is Martin Luther King's, and then the next yeah. is President's Day. President's Day, that's right. Yeah. And so the, the to, I'd say to, to kind of dovetail on that, I would say if something does arise in that period, we'll, we'll call a special meeting. We'll, we'll do that. Right. I think that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the items for the next agenda, or sorry, yeah. the, is I'm thinking the water plan. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, if we want. Okay, that meeting actually, okay. The, the Metro Grant meeting is like December 16th if you want to participate. Okay. So, what are they going to do with this meeting? Is this, is this going to be about what's available or how, how, how it's going to work? Is this what, yeah, what this meeting is, is if you want to get money from Metro to pay for preparing the grant for the ATP to Caltrans. So really, it looks isn't that something the county would have done on our, on our normal? Right, but we would probably ask them to do that if they want money to do it. That's a way we could find out early if they're not planning on doing it. SRTS for us, or it's another way. If really, it's like do we want to pursue that again and ask the county to pursue it with us, which I can't. That's no, yeah. maybe that's something we should. That's something we that, that yeah. that's why we need the superintendent here yeah. sooner rather than later. I mean, that would be something good to get him involved in. Well, <clears throat> district support for it, yes. Well, yeah, um, I wouldn't want to even bother the county unless we had, had a, some sort some of, cool even it's a verbal commitment, but something saying yes, we would support this. I agree, but with this current administration, the education I don't know. committee meeting this month? We haven't scheduled a meeting, but we probably it's too hard. December is too difficult, but, but we will, yeah. first week of January we should. Well, and then I think we can call again. I think we're flexible in January. We can call. I mean, it doesn't have to. Yeah. Right. It, it, it would, well, this, this is a Zoom meeting where you just watch or do actually. I just I believe it's a Zoom meeting where you just learn about how to apply. Yeah. So it'll probably be you could probably watch it anytime. I don't. I don't I'm sure. know if they're going to post it. Or, I don't. Yeah. That I don't know. Right. I'm sure you could reach out. But it would. Yeah, yes. Uh, I have another meeting that day, though, so I'm not going to be able to um, participate in that, unfortunately. So I think that's the day of the car ARB's decarbonization scoping for the camp state. So I, think, um, I, I think that's a, uh, there's something that day. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't want to schedule in front of me, but. Yeah. Too much soda is not good. It should decarbonize your <laughs> <laughs> I'm too bubbly, is that what you're saying? Yeah. So I have water plan and ATP? Well, I think ATP, if you want to put it on, we can put it on there as well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And if somebody gets to make the meeting, we'll have something to... I'll, I'll try and make it. We should just send the email to education committee well, people yeah, yeah, and yeah, see if they... I think it's worth reaching out to find out if they're going to have it recorded and posted somewhere after, because that, that might expand <coughs> the availability of folks yeah. just to participate, at least to see... I, I, mean, I guess it's just be like workshop, like, go pull this lever, right, fill out this form, or talk to this person when you want to yeah. do Yeah. And it would be something for us to learn so that the county can look and go after it if they agree to work with us on another SRTS if we decide to ask them. Right. Wow. <laughs> what a table. <laughs> no, that's, it's, that's the ability, right? It just is what it is, what it is. All right. Well, anything else? I don't think anything else. I'm sure there'll be more stuff to come out then. All right, let's go ahead and adjourn in five minutes.